So Claude has this really awesome feature um, where it's in beta. It's called Artifacts. Maybe you've seen it, but it basically lets you like, I just gave it a prompt here um, where I want to create an input that lets me add, and I can show you exactly what it looks like, where I can just like add arbitrary numbers. Um, and this is for, and it just handles like the tabbing and backspacing love, you know, perfectly. And um, I want to use this for like durations, right? Like hours, minutes, seconds. So like imagine like a video duration. And um, I wanted this in a bubble app and I thought, oh, it's going to be really fiddly to do with like inputs. Um, is there a plugin? Can I, can I code something? So I've given it, I've given Claude this prompt and this is very much experimental and I have not actually finished this, but I um, thought it'd be, it's just interesting to share what's possible. So this is the prompt you know, asking it to do something. And um, I've seen some people say, think step by step. So I thought I'd try that. And um, what it basically did was give me a bunch of code for an HTML document um, that looks like, looks like this. Um, and what I've gone ahead and done then is inside of um, a bubble app, this is a testing bubble app, I've managed to get it working, mounted to an input element. So I've got an input here and I've just given it an ID. And then I've got some plugin code here. This is basically, you know, and this is, this is the stuff that just didn't work. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete that. But what I've basically done is just sort of hacked my way and tweaked some stuff from that code. Um, and um, massaged it a little bit and got in and those of you who maybe have dealt with plugins before will recognize some of this um and basically all, all i the only thing that really matters here is um i've got an input id as an input to this plugin so there's the plugin there my unique input and that corresponds to um, this guy here and what that means is that when the page loads the plugin converts this input into uh, it's essentially three inputs now um but it had all the code for like handling the tabbing and the backspacing is there so i figure now it's just a matter of exposing the um the, the right states uh that i that i would want to use from this like the hour value the minutes value and the seconds value um and uh and maybe some other stuff like when the inputs changed but i think the thing that's really blowing my mind is just like how you can just quickly prototype um, a module, a little, a little bit of functionality that you might want to use, and then um, be able to to implement that within an existing kind of application, right? In Bubble, you don't have to like create a whole application from scratch here. You just need to just basically figure out, oh, what does the interaction need to look like for this very specific thing? Um, so I think I'm going to try this a little bit more. I'm going, to, I'm going to try to get this to a state where it's actually production ready and, and, and share it with you. But I um, just, just wanted to share this because I think it's pretty neat.